Uh, we just got done watching episode so, twenty three, Sailor, Sailor Moon, Moon season one. It's called. Um, uh, it's called uh, Wish Upon a Shooting Star. Now is pure love. Molly's episode, Folly, yes. which is the North American dub. That sounds. Is her name Molly? Yeah, 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 I guess so. I guess in the American. This episode version, focuses but, on uh, Naru Na- Na- started Na- when she was de- daydreaming about Nefri, and uh, and she said age difference doesn't matter when you're in love. Um, yeah. And. It's, I found it I interesting that, that Nauru's romance is a, is a become a key plot point to all of this. Yeah, yeah. In an attempt to... I gotta hold up. Wait, wait, keep, yeah, keep doing, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, Nefrit seems to be, like, kind of... He notices and appreciates the fact that Nauru is in love with him. Maybe not appreciates, but he, he recognizes it, at least. And it's starting to actually get to him, and we thought this guy was stone cold. And, um, and then this is when we figure out that... Uh, Naru might have the silver crystal which because her parents in, own the jewelry yeah, shop. Yeah, it ties into the first episode. Yeah, which is which takes place in her parents' jewelry shop. Yeah. Which I find interesting. You know, a little con- continuity. Yeah, you know. And then uh, when uh, Usagi figures out, or Luna tells Usagi that uh, Naru is er, is in love with Nefrit and says, "You have to tell her the truth. Yeah, that he's this bad and guy." She, actually, she goes and to she, get advice. She from, says, "Courage, courage, courage!" And then she goes and uh, gets tells advice. Her that, no, first she goes and gets advice from Matoki and oh, okay, from, yeah, uh, at the. From, at the, uh, at the uh, arcade. Yeah, at the arcade. Yeah, yeah. And, and specifically, uh, the tuxedo mask in his alter ego form says, uh, bu- 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 telling the truth is a form of courage, which is a great little quote. And, you know, this yeah. this, show, this this episode really hammers on that love is bigger than beauty. You know, love is beyond beauty. Um, yeah, there was this little symbolism in this episode. A butterfly yeah. catches fire. There's on, a shooting star. There's a shooting there's star. A, there's a really great sax jam when she's fantasizing. Oh, yeah, true. Uh, the the cool. soundtrack, once the, again, amazing yeah. soundtrack. Yeah. Totally. Um, and then, yeah. ne- and then, uh, yeah, you literally, you, you, well, I gotta get to work, you gotta get, maybe get some socks on. Um, yeah. Yusagi says you to Nefri, like, you're taking advantage of Nauru's love, you're taking advantage of Nauru's love, which, uh, he is, he's trying to get the crystal from her, because the whole thing is, like, I gotta get the silver crystal, and then he uses the black crystal to analyze the, the crystal that she brings, saying it's the silver crystal, he kinda, um... I think Nauru kinda... might be, the, like, the silver crystal might be this ethereal thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, Nauru, it, it was kinda, like, uh... Implied that Nauru was... Is the like, silver crystal? Well, that she's like kind of some chosen one kind yeah. of deal. Like, yeah. uh, he, has he has this aura vision, of love yeah, and this stuff aura of love, and he has this vision of her as if she's some sort of chosen one. Maybe that's what the silver crystal yeah. uh, means or something. Um, but, you know, Nauru, uh, the sailors come to uh, just try and like fight off Nefri, and Nauru stands in front of him and starts crying, saying that she loves him. And that's how much she. But then, with, with her, her, the power of friendship, Usagi yeah. prevents the uh, Tierra from hitting. Uh, uh, her friend Nauru. Yeah. Which was which was very powerful. Uh, this was a good episode. It wasn't a great episode. Well, right? great and not too bad. There's, there's a, the shooting I, star. I always enjoy it. But yet, uh, humanizing Nefrit and having him... So Nefrit having actually, him actually feel a, some emotion. He's a conflict with another person yeah. from the Dark Kingdom who's sort of luring, uh, thinking that the black crystal might be the silver crystal that he's got. They're like, we're going to just steal it from him. Um, but he protects Nauru. Yeah. But it's it's out of self interest. But that surprises the sailors and surprises the audience. You know us. Yeah. But this was a this was a good episode. Anyways, uh, I gotta go. You can keep talking if you want. You'll have a good day at work, man. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Chris. Let's go. Let's do it.